of our videos that has received a lot of attention is the Hulu commercial video that I did that I talk about how it's Masonic, Satanic, Luciferian, uh, Egyptian. I mean, it's all that stuff disguised, Illuminati disguised. And so uh, I think it's apropos to tell you about this movie called The Watchmen. I had a chance to see it the other night and I'm sitting there with my wife and I'm saying, babe, did you see? Oh my, and I, it's like every couple of minutes there's something major that's happening and I've got to tell you about this movie called The Watchmen. You've probably, probably have heard of it. There's a picture of the uh, poster of the Watchmen movie. Now, let's get right into it. The creator, his name is Alan Moore. Alan Moore has also done V for Vendetta. He did A League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and he did another thing called From Hell. Now, in his defense, he says that he has backed away from the uh, feature film uh, aspects of all of these films because he feels like the uh, directors and the people involved did not uh, represent his views accurately to a T, and so he's kind of backed away from those things. Now, here is the kicker. Alan Moore is an admitted Mason, a cultist, and a magician. And I don't mean magician, and he does things at kids, you know, birthday parties. I'm talking about a real magician. In 2006, he actually published uh, an eight-page article uh, tracing out the history of pornography. And here it says, and he was arguing that a society's vibrance and success are related to its permissiveness in sexual matters. So the guy is saying that when a society progresses, uh, it's because they are sexually permissive uh, or promiscuous. Uh, in that society, and that's what makes a society great and advance in stages of social and cultural aspects. Alan Moore and Eddie Campbell uh, did a movie called From Hell, and uh, basically it is a richly sculpted, fic uh, fictionalized version of the suppressed history of England, how a cobble of Freemasons orchestrated the so-called Jack the Ripper Murders. Now, I want you to hear in Alan Moore's own words his depiction of what Watchmen is about. Here's the clip. Well, what Watchmen became was entirely a meditation about power. We were thinking about how each of these characters, to some degree, represented different sorts of power. 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 That's all that the Masons are about is more power in this earth. Now, I want to bring to you some facts about just the movie Watchmen. And I'm going to try and again uh, prove to you that Watchmen is indeed a secret Mason, Illuminati, uh, Satanic, Egyptian. I mean, that's what it is. Movie disguised. And I want to prove to you today uh, that Watchmen was made for a purpose. Now, here are the first couple of facts. One of the characters' names is actually Mason. Now, one of the places that they actually pan by in the movie is called Rockefeller Military Research Center. Now, there is no such type of, the, there, there's no such thing on the earth. But this movie is depicting that one of the men get caught up in this Rockefeller Military Research Center. Something happens to him and he becomes a, a superhuman uh, that, that, that is able to do superhuman things and godlike things. And, and uh, one, the main story, the plot of the movie is focused around this guy that had this experience in the Rockefeller Military Research Center. Now, the movie takes place in the period of Richard Nixon, and they make no doubt about it that Henry Kissinger was a part of Richard Nixon's administration. In fact, Henry Kissinger is in the movie. Now, we know Henry Kissinger is all about the New World Order and uh, all the these global elitists. He is right in the mix of them, but I thought it was interesting that the whole movie has taken place during the Richard Nixon-Henry Kissinger uh, period. One of the other characters, his actual name is Molak. Now, of course, we know Molak from the 40-foot 
owl that they worship at the Bohemian Grove. Uh, look at this that I found. Molac went by many names, including but not limited to Baal. Molac, Molik, Molac here, Molik, all these different uh, spellings of it represents uh, Semitic. Uh, is either the name uh, of a god or the name of a particular god of sacrifice associated with fire. In modern English usage, Molak can refer uh, derivatively to any person or thing that demands or requires costly sacrifices. So we have a character named uh, Mason and another character name in the movie Watchmen called Molak. So the whole point of Watchmen is at the end of the movie, they, the superheroes, uh, kill 15 million people. It's a terrorist attack that's done by them. It's an inside job. And the point of the movie is they say, oh, well, we've got to kill our own people to save the rest of the world, to save five billion. So the whole idea is they have an inside job. It's another terrorist attack on their own people, but of course, why? To save their own people. We see that so much now happening that there is uh, so many people that want another investigation to 9-11 because they feel like there is something else happening here. And in fact, Watchmen, it plays out in real life. They did commit a terrorist attack on their own people to save, of course, the earth. One of the things that I thought was interesting that I'm sitting here watching this movie and I go, what does Egyptian, what does the Egyptian religion or, I mean, why are they in a temple? There is no rhyme or reason. There is no reason that the last scene of the movie, 30 minutes of the, la of the, of the movie, the last 30 minutes, is it, the whole scene takes place in a Egyptian temple. Here is a clip from uh, the a little trailer of the movie, and I'm gonna try and stop it right where this Egyptian, they don't have a lot of pictures on the internet for this, but uh, I wanna show you the inside of this Egyptian temple. And we're given no reason. Why does this guy live in this? He's supposed to be the, 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 the most uh, smart guy, the smartest guy in the world, and he lives in what? An Egyptian temple. So we know, of course, that the Masons basically take the Egyptian religion and now they worship the star Sirius and they have such a fondness. You'll see in the uh, Masonic temple that I went to in Washington, D.C., it's all Egyptian art everywhere. There are two characters that get killed in the movie. One's called the Comedian and one is called Rorschach. Now, the first one, the Comedian, he's kind of known as the Rebel as the guy who kind of thinks for himself and kind of does things uh, for the good of society. And uh, he is killed in the very beginning of the movie because he's, he's deemed as a risk to this private elite group of superheroes. Or if you really know what the movie is about, the private group, uh, the elite of the world. Now, Rorschach is killed at the end of the movie because he says, you guys killed 15 million of our own people. You did it on purpose. You did it. I don't like this. And he goes off about the idea that uh, these private superheroes, these private elite superheroes killed uh, 15 million people on purpose. And he wants to out them. He wants to say, look, I got to let people know about the fact that you did this. This isn't right. You shouldn't have done this. And Rorschach gets killed. They kill him because he wants to out them as uh, this thing is happening. Now, on top of this, the movie, the last thing I want to say is called Watch Men. And it is very evident to me that they are, in fact, watching men. They, they act like they want to watch over you and protect you. But most importantly, they are watching you. They are tracking. They want to track. They want to fingerprint. They want to number all of us. And I think it's interesting that the movie Watchmen is nothing but satanic, Masonic, Illuminati, Luciferian, uh, Rockefeller filled the whole thing. And I don't want you to be in the dark about this. Watchmen is a very evil movie. And I wanted to out it tonight because power is knowledge and the lack of it is death.